Welcome back to the Azure Cosmos DB Essential Series. My name is Mustafa. I'm the Portfolio PMM for Azure Cosmos DB. And this season, we're joined by Mark Brown, a PM on the Azure Cosmos DB product team. This season, we want to take use cases a step further and dive into some of the architectures customers are using to build lightweight applications. So today, we're going to talk about a lightweight order processing architecture built with Azure Cosmos DB and Azure Functions. So some of the people viewing this video might not be super familiar with Azure Functions. Want to explain what Functions is and what it does before we jump in? Yeah, sure. So Azure Functions is a compute pass or platform as a service that can host and run applications within Azure. Functions can be pre-provisioned and run on a variety of underlying provision compute. There's also a consumption-based pricing model for serverless compute as well. One of the nice features of Azure Functions is it comes with a number of pre-built triggers and bindings that can be easily configured to do things like build event-driven applications quickly and easily. There are also a number of supported languages like c -sharp, Java, Python, Node.js, and even PowerShell, which is pretty cool too. With serverless functions, we can write some code, define the triggers and bindings around that code that control functions execution, and then functions will handle everything else and only charge me for when the code is actually executing doing its work. Let's jump into the architecture where I can give an example and hopefully make things a little more clear. So today we're gonna to talk about an order processing for an e-commerce store, which is another really common use case for Cosmos DB. Here, we wanna take advantage of Azure Functions capabilities, specifically with the Cosmos DB trigger, which can allow us to help build event-driven microservices this is especially important for e-commerce workloads because much of it is event-driven. What this Cosmos DB trigger does is it monitors a container in Cosmos DB. And then when an item is inserted or updated, the trigger fires and calls a function you define in your Azure function. Behind the scenes, this is using something called change feed. So what is the change feed? Uh, is this something people need to turn on? Right, so change feed is a change data capture capability built into Cosmos DB. It's always on, but you do have to listen to it in order to use it. At its core, change feed is a feature that executes some specific piece of code whenever someone inserts or updates an item within Cosmos DB. What's great about it is that this allows developers to easily build event-driven applications and propagate data written into Cosmos DB onto other services within your application. For instance, when you click purchase, change feed could kick off the process that sends you an email to thank you for your order. So can you tell us more about how we would interact with the change feed if we're trying to build something like this? Sure, so first we're gonna have our user facing web app and we might use Azure Functions to implement an endpoint for the purchase action in our shopping cart using an HTTP trigger. That's what we see on the left here. From there, we'd have a Cosmos DB trigger monitoring that container for the new order. Then from there, Azure Functions gets notified of the new order and executes some code for each event that we want to initiate. Behind the scenes, how change feed works is it maintains a connection to the container it wants to listen to. It also maintains a connection to a second container that we call the leases container. This container's purpose is to maintain a checkpoint on the last data processed by the change feed. Every second, change feed calls that monitor container to see, is there any new data? And if there is, it picks up all that new data and then calls the code you've written then updates that leases container to maintain the checkpoint for the last data process. For our use case, every time an order is placed, we need to do things like calculate the tax to charge, authorize a credit card for the order total and the tax, send an email thanking them for the order, and then send a message to the fulfillment center telling them to pick, pack, and ship the order contents. With Azure Functions using a Cosmos DB trigger, we can quickly and easily build this entire chain of events and even conditionally roll it back if anything along the way isn't right. For instance, let's say the credit card couldn't be authorized. You could create other functions to email the user to provide a new credit card or cancel the order. Or more often, an item that was ordered was not actually in stock. You could send the customer an email saying, hey, this item is back ordered, then process the rest of the order normally, and then update the amount charged on the credit card. Anything is possible. What's important is you can do it with small, manageable chunks of code all hosted in these Azure functions that all do one job and can be orchestrated to work together using a database like Cosmos DB, which can kick off the entire series of events. Awesome. Well, that wraps up the third episode of season three. 
Join us in the next episode where we're going to discuss how to make our apps globally distributed. We hope you learned something and see you next time.